So the work that I did this year, well, and last year, is uh, refactoring our integration tests so they're not along with the unit tests. So normally, in a Maven build, you have your unit tests that run just after compilation, uh, before you run install, before you package the jars, etc. Um, and ideally, they should actually be unit tests. They should be fast. Uh, they shouldn't take too long. They shouldn't have a lot of external dependencies. That is not at all the definition of the massive pile of stuff that we have in our test environment, as you all know. And for the longest time, we've disabled tests by default, all tests. Um, Maven has a pretty good way now of dealing with unit tests, sorry, integration tests and separating them out from unit tests. Uh, in the Maven lifecycle, uh, let's see here. That's too boring. So in the Maven lifecycle, there are a set of phases. Uh, unit tests run between compile and package. And maybe I got the order in. This might be out of order. Anyways. That's right. Okay. So I need to fix my documentation because that's wrong. Um, but um, so the unit tests run between compile and package. Integration tests run between package and verify. And uh, what I've done is I've separated out the integration tests to be separate from the unit tests. It's all just by naming, that's it. Uh, and I'll show you the naming in a second. Um, and by default right now, unit tests are when I go in, at least in the feature branch, and hopefully I'll get that merged back again to develop soon once I fix the, the packaging issues. Um, unit tests will be enabled by default, but integration tests will be disabled by default. And the idea is, I didn't go into depth that in our 7,000 or so tests to try to make, try to figure out is something an integration test, is it a unit test? Pretty much if it talks to PostgreSQL, it's clearly an integration test. If it takes too long to run, it's an integration test. If it has to talk to something on the internet, it's an integration test. Um, those were the really rough uh, differentiators that I used for now just to do an initial split and will evolve it as time goes on. Um, I think I initially looked last year if something took longer to a, than a second to run, and I can't remember if that was an, in, an, indi an individual test or an entire class. I called it an integration test. So some things like our event conf loading, there might be a single test class or a single test method even that takes dozens of seconds to run. That's clearly it might be technically a unit test, but you don't want to wait that long for a lot of those to slow down your development. So I moved those. The ones at least that were really strong outliers to integration tests. So I have a happy table uh, that shows the differences between unit tests. So I talked about what does it do? Is it enabled by default? I need to fix when does it run in the Maven lifecycle because that's wrong. Dependencies we've hit. Uh, the big difference on making a call whether something is a unit test or an integration test, they're all in the same directories. They're all in the same source test Java directory, but if it ends in test.java, it's a unit test. If it ends in it.java for integration test, then it's an integration test. So really all that I did at the basis of this was rename Java files. But then you're changing the class name, you're changing dependencies on that, and then I found out there was a lot of broken stuff. Um, along the way I learned that there were a lot of tests that might depend on property settings, and if you're running in some environments, uh, Maven versus Eclipse, the property settings might not be there. Maybe another class ran before you and set it up. Maybe when you're running in Maven, the ordering's different and that's not set up. So in the process, I also took care of a lot of spurious test failures while I was going through this. Because when I started reorganizing them and they run separately, a class that used to run before you might have set up a dependency and now it's not. So that is all the enjoyable stuff that I've done. I think that's really it. Um, Did you go down at all to the method level uh, to pull like unit test methods out of integration tests? No. So I was, again, very, this is probably 80 plus hours of work between this year. Actually, no, it's probably 100 hours or more between this year and last year uh, to do this. So very broad brush strokes. If there was anything that made it lean towards an integration test, I called it an integration test. So this is very much just, think of this as a, a first pass to get the infrastructure in um, and for us to start to get used to it. Uh, and the timing, it'll take a little bit longer to do builds now, um, uh, standard builds because you're doing, or a standard compile um, because you're running unit tests and you weren't before. 
So I want to make sure we get used to that. I want to make sure that things run reliably. <laughs> Where's Ben? Um, and they get used to that. And then I will evolve this over time and make it right. Hopefully this is 80% of the way there for what it should be. That's all I got. And if I'm lucky, I'll get this in by the end of the day.